for us operating in a, in a military operating area, uh, it is not restricted in the sense that you have to be, the, there's only one person allowed in there. Um, you could have these little Cessnas kind of bumbling in there, but they would get called out pretty quick, um, both from the kind of air traffic control agency that's working out there, as well as the F-18s and the other um, aircraft that may be working out there. Uh, but in a broader sense, when we look at it uh, in relation to our air defense identification zone, which is essentially a band of airspace that surrounds our entire country, if you are uh, if your flight path originates uh, out over the water outside of that ADIS and you proceed into that ADIS, into our controlled airspace, then you do have to um, essentially have permission to enter that airspace. It's not a restricted airspace like a traditional uh, bombing range, but it is protected airspace.